guys, it's a new video today and if you enjoyed this look that at the start turned out terrible but worked out in the end. I feel like I'm in the 80s, especially with this like side. Okay. Look. First I'm taking concealer in the colour Fawn. we apply that we are going to take our 2 in 1 powder and foundation I got it in E Crew this is quite dark let's look at the foundation oh that looks a bit dark but considering I always look white in my videos maybe this is the kind of shade I need and especially as I use concealers that can make me look quite white using a shade that's too dark for me might actually make my face matte better so let's give this a try okay so I finished applying it in camera for the first time ever it looks like it matches but in real life it is it is too dark it's giving more of an orange color so this will be definitely better for someone that's darker than me keep showing the powder this is just a bit annoying to use honestly because it, it's hard to pick up any color in the first place put your face okay I think I'm gonna go with my concealer and just put some on my face because I am my face is actually really dark my face is on the verge of orangey red and my neck is yellow so let me just fix the foundation. So I've just blended in the concealer to lighten up the foundation a bit. It has helped but it's still not good. But but anyways, let's just move on. So I'm gonna apply some of the powder in the two in one. It's quite dark. I normally go for white, so but it does look my colour. So let's see how this goes. Oh my god, the powder has actually darkened me up. And the red of the dark foundation, imagine how dark I would have gotten. Okay, I'm not gonna powder that much because of how dark it makes you. If you're gonna try this, I would definitely suggest going for even lighter than what you normally use. Oh my god. Look how bad I look. Look like I just bronze or something. I do not like this at all. Nope to this. They do have liquid foundation, so I'll definitely suggest you try one of them. But as for this two in one a note for me. Next I'm going in with the bronzer and highlight duo. I did buy a highlighter because it's very similar to the Benefit one so I wanted to buy it just to compare it but you can just have these two on their own because it does come with both. I got in the colour Matcha so it's the darkest one. Even though it's the darkest one that highlight shade is I think it's way too light for someone dark skin but luckily I'm not so it doesn't matter. Look how dark I'm getting now. I have no words. Oh my god, did that really just happen? What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see if I can save this. This brand is not mm -mm, not happy with this. When it says dark, it means dark. Let's just say that. Okay. Let me do the excess on this side and see. Is it me or is that not blending out? I'm doing this so hard now. You know when I said I like a sharp contour? I think this is taking a me. My face is really dark from the foundation. I don't need it to be any darker. Blend it out, it's not that bad but it's still bad. I look like an orange. This is becoming an elf video. As you guys know I normally tap in and go in a couple of times for my bronzer. Today is not that day. I'm going to try the powder highlighter then I'll go in with the benefit I like one. So let's see how this goes. There's a lot of champagne colour. I would say get this because of the highlight not <laughs> bronzer.
Well, that's blinding. If I knew that, I wouldn't have got the other one. But let's move on. I should have put this underneath. Anyways, this is called Highlights. Very similar to Benefits High Beans, and it looks exactly the same. I'm not going to do a comparison in this video, but I'm going to test this out like personally in my daily life and see if it looks any different. It literally looks like a nail polish. <laughs> so let's see. Oh wow, this does go a long way. This is so good that I'd probably actually buy this more than over the benefit. Okay, that's looking a bit crazy. Try and blend that out. Powder highlighter. <laughs> Liquid on top highlighter. The reason I did this video is because I bought their brow gel off Boohoo once and I was in love. So I've always wanted to try out other products. I actually bought the brow gel again because I love it so much and mine's running out. So, maybe we should move on to like the eyes now. Even though I bought the brow gel, I didn't really need to buy a brow product, but I wanted to try the pencil. So this is the Technic Brow Pencil in Brown Black. It's quite long. It's good because it's got a spoolie on one end, and it's got a sharpen on the one end, so it's great for travelling. Not that great if you've got a small uh, makeup case, okay, because look at the size of this bad boy. <laughs> maybe use it halfway and then take it with you to travel. So I've done the brows, I like it, it's natural, but I'm not a fan, I wouldn't buy it again. Just for the fact my MUA, my Borgia's pencil, takes me literally two seconds, so like if you're in a rush, that would be the perfect one. It is so quick, so easy, looks natural, easy to blend out. So when I use pencils now on, and it doesn't take me quick, it, you know, it's kind of like, I don't really need it, there's no point me purchase it again so until I find any better pencils we'll see next I am taking the brow gel in dark brunette I love it I'm still not sure how I feel about it because I've now I've tried MUA's brow gel I'm not sure because that one doesn't make your eyes crunchy whereas this does so it's good if you want your eyebrows set in place but I'm just not sure so if we brush it in I tend to not really do this in a mirror it doesn't really make it darker, especially if you use a light hand, whereas if you just use it, I've used it plenty of times on its own, and it's great, it actually creates a tail, you can just do a tail where other brow gels I find don't really do it, this is really pigmented, so thumbs up, I really like this one, this is the first product from Picnic I ever tried before I did this video, so love. Oh my god, I just picked up the eye palette and like I accidentally grabbed it and I literally and dropped and I dug my fingers in the eyeshadow. Oh, it feels really weird that this takes out my nails. I bet yeah, I've just ruined lovely looking eyeshadow palettes because now there's a big nail dug. After Elf, I didn't think videos could get any worse. I don't think you can even see like a hole dug into it. Okay, this is called, I think, Whoopla palette, and it's just got a lot of greens type shadows. Let's take my bright green, wow, that is so pigmented, and try and make a look at this. Gonna take my handy dandy broken, no brand, muffin eye shadow type brush, so professional. That is so pigmented, oh my god. I think with today it's fine, it's going a bit wrong, it's kind of hard to blend, it's going a bit everywhere. AJ Action. Okay guys, I've now done the eyes, they're pigmented, normally I can just go with eyeshadow and I can build it up. This, you have to go in so so lightly and build it up very very slowly 
if you just go in then it's a big mess and you look like panda eyes i think the, the color is quite nice i just got green on the lid and like a deep blue on the outer lid these are all shimmery colors apart from the first two the purple and the silver which is a matte so yeah let's try and save this look by now moving on to eyeliner this is just the eyeliner pen in black okay so now the eyeliner's done it brings this look together can I say so next let's move on to mascara this is their monster lash mascara okay okay it's pretty long oh and it has a flat bit at the end so I guess it's to do the underneath lashes quite easily weird shape so weird because it's got like the things coming out like they normally do and then it's just got this flat bit it's got like spikes coming that side so let's see how this goes okay it's quite good because I'm using the flat bit spikes just to get like the inner ones and it's getting them easily this is quite flexible it's quite soft on your lashes I've had I've tried their real benefit and I don't like the brush it it's so hard because you're going to poke yourself in the eye. Okay, so just applied it. It is not something I would want to purchase or buy again. Just for the fact that I've got mascaras can make my eyelashes look 10 times better. But it is quite good. It's hand dandy. I don't know why it's called Monster Lash. Probably because of the applicator. I think why. Because it's got that weird shaped thing on the end. So, we are now coming to the end of the video, so last but not least is lips. This is their liquid lipstick in Crave. Their colours are a bit weird, they don't have any normal colours, they have like bright pink, they've got reds, or they've got ones that make you look like a seed on your lips, so. Oh, so it's got a normal applicator. So let's see, oh god, I want look so bright now. <laughs> Green eyeshadow. Oh. Oh. My god. This smells amazing. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Oh. It literally just smells like sweet heart sweets. This shit is bright, man. It goes on like lip gloss, so I'm guessing you're gonna have to do a few applications. So I've now applied it, I'm going to let it dry down a bit. You can tell this is cheap just from the fact you have to, it's quite sheer, you have to put layers on layers and layers to get that opaque look. Actually, bright pink lips and green eyeshadow don't look that bad. Okay, it's drying down slowly and surely. With Colourpop for other brands, I've tried that, Lottie London, this will dry like instantly straight away. So, it does take a bit of time. But yeah guys, that concludes this video. I hope you <laughs> like this look. The stress after the foundation, the base, is just a no-no for me. But then again, they do do liquid versions. And I think they do a mousse, so maybe try that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down, have you tried any of Techniques products? And yeah, let me know. And until then, I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, so now I'm going to quickly run through, you kind of know my thoughts already because I was speaking through this video, but I'm just going to run through it. Foundation, do not like at all, and powder together, it's a no-no for me. Concealer, it's quite good but I'm not saying I'd repurchase again just for the fact it's quite sheer so you have to keep building it up. Contour, what the hell was with the contour? It worked on the end, I'm going to use this again, I'm not sure, I'm not going to say I hate it because... I've always said I wanted dark contour, I love dark contour and then when I get it, I'm like, <laughs> I'm shook. So I'm going to try this again through like my daily routine. Obviously you go with a light hand, don't use that much and just build it up. Highlighter, powder, I loved it. Liquid, I liked it. Again in my daily life I'm going to try the high beam with the high lights and just see which one's better. 
but I do, I kind of, I've already tried high beam and I do love this a tiny bit more but we'll see because there is a massive massive price difference in these products this was under a fiver it was literally like three quid I think with high beam it's, a, it's about 20 quid and the travel size is about 12 50 I think next eyes okay brows it's good but just not sank a fave of mine I've got better brow gel as you know I love the brow gel if anything I'd recommend the brow gel out of everything in this video totally recommend eyes they're good I've had better eyeshadows but for someone that doesn't it's not really into eyeshadow or doesn't want to spend a lot these are quite 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 good Again, I'm going to have to go in with a light hand and just blend it and see how it is because it was a bit of a, like a well factor for me so I didn't expect it to be so much. The eyeliner is quite good, only thing is on the wings, it's quite sheer, it hasn't got much pigment but then again I'm still going to try it but I just don't, my Emmy Way one that is more pigmented is literally black. So it's not something I'd feel like I need to purchase again. Mascara, again, it makes sure that is quite defined and light, like very natural for like school or whatever, but it didn't do much for me in terms of voluming and lengthening. I've got better mascaras. And yeah, that is the lips. Okay, the lips is, they're dry. Be careful because they do get in your teeth. It's dry down, but it still feels sticky definitely would not buy again because Colourpop dry sanding within like seconds, like 10 seconds and it isn't sticky, it doesn't go in teeth, it lasts literally all day through eating and drinking. The colour is, it's a bit much for me, it's like Jeffree Star's prom night or something. I would wear it again, the colour is not a problem because I'm into bright, <laughs> they haven't told by this channel already, and my eyeshadows, I am into bright yeah. colours. But it is giving that crackly, peely, getting like dots on my lips type of look. So yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. So to conclude this, I would only suggest the brow gel and maybe the bronze and highlight. Everything else is a note for me. But don't really feel bad if you love these products. I just personally have tried better and don't like them. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and until then, I'll see you guys later.